Good morning. A warm welcome to our service this morning. Here are this week's notices. After the service at 11.30, there will be the usual opportunity to have a virtual chat and catch up on Zoom. On Wednesday evening at 8 o'clock, all are welcome to join for a time of prayer, which again is on Zoom. The November newsletter is out and you should receive your copy this week. Just an advance notice that on the 22nd of November, we are having our toy gift service, when we have the opportunity to give toys, which will be donated to Birmingham City Mission for distribution to families in need at Christmas. More details can be found in the newsletter. Finally, if you would like to watch next week's service on the screen at church with other members of the fellowship, please don't forget to book your place. Thank you. Morning. As it's the 1st of November, it would traditionally be a parade service of Ag Boys and Girls Brigade companies. Therefore, some of our young people will be helping us today in our worship. Today is All Saints Day, and we'll be looking at what it means to us. So to start, can I share with you some words from Titus that have meant a lot to me. He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy. A short prayer. Lord, be with us all today. Help us to hear your word and know that we can share all our thoughts, concerns, our happiness and our sadness with you in prayer. Amen. <laughs>
Today I'm going to read some verses from the John chapter 3 and chapter 14 from the easy to read translation of the Bible. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him would not be lost but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world. He did not send him to judge the world guilty but to save the world through him. John 14. Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. If you really know me, you would know my Father too. But now you know the Father, you have seen him. Everyone who has seen me has seen the Father too. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. I assure you that whoever believes in me will do the same things I have done. We can ask what sort of things we should do. We can find some answers in Luke chapter 6. But I say to you, people who are listening to me love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Ask God to bless the people who ask for bad things to happen to you. Pray for the people who are mean to you. If someone hits you on the side of the face, let them hit the other side too. If someone takes your coat, don't stop them from taking your shirt too. Give to everyone who asks you for something. When, something. when someone takes something that is yours, don't ask to take it back. Do for others that you want to do for them. I'm telling you to love your enemies and do good to them. Lend to people without expecting to get anything back. If you do this, you will have a great reward. You will be the children of the Most High God. Yes, because God is good even to those who are full of sin and not thankful. Give love and mercy to the same as your Father gives love and mercy. I always feel that they are challenging words for us all. Not always easy to do, but a great way to live. The Boys and Girls Brigade encompasses these in our teaching and leading of the young people who are members at this time. And I think it would be good to remind everyone of the objectives and aims of the Boys' Brigade and Girls' Brigade. The object of Boys' Brigade, the advancement of Christ's kingdom amongst boys and the promotion of habits of obedience, reverence, discipline, self-respect and all that tends towards a true Christian manliness. The motto is sure and steadfast. Girls' Brigade aims to help girls become followers of the Lord Jesus Christ and through self-control, reverence and a sense of responsibility, find true enrichment of life. Law. A Girls' Brigade member will do her best to be loyal to company and church, to be honest, truthful, kind and helpful and to remember the Girls' Brigade motto, Seek, Serve and Follow Christ. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the Girls and Boys Brigade. It's a home from home, our, our place of peace, a, a sanctuary of safety. If we're, if we're down, it lifts us up. If we're upset, it calms us down. Lord, we thank you for the leaders. They, they do your work and channel your, your words to us. Guide us and show, and show us your way. Lord, we ask you to bless every member current, past or yet to join. Help us to find your family and become a member. Help us to remain sure, sure and steadfast as we seek to serve and follow Christ in, in your name. In your name we pray, Amen.
Good morning. I am pleased to be able to share with you today the success of three of our boys. Leo Farrell, Daniel Vale and Kieran Astley. They have all been successful in obtaining their President's Badges. These were presented to them on Friday the 23rd of October by Mrs Angela Windsor, our company captain. All three boys have worked really hard to achieve this award, which is the second highest award in the Boys' Brigade. I am sure you will join me in congratulating these three young men for all the hard work and the resilience they have shown, especially at this time in their lives. Well done, boys, and many congratulations. Girls Brigade have also been very, very busy. And earlier on in the year, we entered the National Team Challenge competition and our girls, they call themselves the Four Musketeers. They were made up of four girls aged 11 to 18. Uh, they were Millie, Tash, Bethany and Sydney. And we celebrate to say it because they came first. And girls, you've got your trophies if you'd like to take one of the little ones because the big cup stays with the company. Well done. We all celebrate so much, and it's great to do that, but I think we should celebrate that we're all saints too. We've heard that what some of the young people think about saints and that they're not saints, but in the Bible, a saint is simply a follower of Jesus. I'll repeat that. A saint is a follower of Jesus. That's me and you. Wow, what a fantastic feeling, but it's also frightening. From Tasha's reading, we were reminded how we should live to be like Jesus. But we know that it is hard and so to always be like that. But when we look at the saints in the Bible, they were still very much human. They were called to be followers. They were dedicated, but they were still real people. And as such, far from perfect. They were fishermen, farmers, tent makers, doctors, carpenters, former prostitutes, outcasts, robbers. In fact, you name it, they were there. They weren't infallible, and sometimes they disagreed with one another. They weren't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, just like us. They were on a journey, the journey following Jesus, the journey of learning to be more and more like Jesus, which means becoming more and more loving, less and less judgmental, more and more accepting of others, and less and less condemning of others. Learning as we go, learning from our mistakes. They learn to allow Christ to forgive them, and by accepting forgiveness and moving on in Christ, and with and in love. We're all challenged by how we should live, and still God calls us to be saints. A saint may fall down and fail, lose their temper, hurt another by word or deed. But a saint asks God for forgiveness and accepts it and asks God for strength to grow in love. For instance, a follower of Jesus may not always love their enemies, but that is their goal. We are human and will always need true help and support. We can look around and see people who we feel are true saints, and may, they may be the ones that showed us who Jesus is and why we're here today. These are people we see God's light shining through. We're all called to be saints, people dedicated to God, so that the light of Christ may shine through our words and our actions. We know that a saint is not perfect, but nevertheless, we thank God for them and ask him to work in us to ensure that each of us are fit to be called the saints of God. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you made us in your, in your image and you have us more than we dare to imagine. Please 
look with compassion upon our scarred world. As we adapt to present circumstances, from us, from, form in us habits that echo your kindness and justice. Give wisdom to those in, in, in authority, healing to those who are unwell, unwell in body, mind or spirit protection to those who whose works bring them into danger your mercy upon those who are struggling and your comfort to all those who are grieving grant us your grant us your peace renew our hope and strengthen and strengthen us to all with you, with all our days through jesus christ our lord amen Let us pray. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.